Good morning, kindergartners. Happy Thursday. Um, so I'm just going to explain a couple of your jobs for today. For Reader's Workshop today, we're going back to working on being avid readers. And one of the things that you are going to be working on is acting out a story from your mind. So it's almost like retelling a story, but when you retell it, instead of just saying it with your words, you could just act it out with your whole body. Um, so you want to pick a book that you know really well, that you know by memory. Um, you could do a book from our kindergarten classroom, like through Billy Goat's Gruff. We worked a lot on retelling that story in our classroom. You could work on a favorite book that you have at home that you've read over and over again and you know really well. Or you could do a book that we did together. This is the book that I used um, when we did our nighttime story time. And I posted that video to our um, newsletter, but I realized in the video I had it recording so that it was recording my screen. And when I read a story to all of you, I like to see all your faces. So there's all these little screens of our friends in our class watching it. And then there's just a teeny tiny little screen of me reading this. So I reposted a video. It's just of me reading this book. So you can see the pictures um, really up close when you watch the video. You could even watch the video a couple of times to get really familiar with this book. Um, but the idea is that when you're acting the story out, you want to tell the really important parts that are happening in the story. And you want to um, be using some of the important characters are in the story. So if I was acting out the story, King Big Goods in the Bathtub, I would definitely need to make sure I include, include King Big Good. I would really need to include the page He's a big part of this story. And I want to try to remember some of the other characters that are in the story. Like there's a knight in this story. There's a queen that tells him to get out of the bathtub. Um, and there are um, people who are at the masquerade ball who come, the court who comes and asks them to get out of the bathtub. And I want to remember that really important part. I want to think about the beginning when the page asks him to get out of the tub. I want to remember what happens in the middle. All of these people are asking him to get out and he will not get out of the tub. He actually makes them come into the tub. And then at the end, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but at the end, something really important happens and it solves the whole problem and it it solves the problem of King Bid Good not getting out of the bathtub. I won't tell you what it is. So I would want to act it out with my body. Um, I could kind of move around the room and um, just kind of relive and act out different parts of the story. So see how that goes today. Try to pick a book that you really enjoy to do that. That will make that more fun. Um, for word work today, you're going to work again on diagraphs and you have to be really careful to see if the diagraph is coming at the beginning of the word or if it's coming at the end of the word. So when you stretch it out, kind of say it slowly. Um, you're going to work again on your all about books. <laughs> you guys, I am having a really good time on these one on one Zoom sessions with you because I'm learning about the topics that you're using for your all about books and you're teaching me all about things. So it's been really cool to um, chat with you and to see what you've been doing your books on. I'm excited to see those when you're done with them. Um, today we also have a Zoom art session. It's at 2.30 today um, and you only need a few things. You need a piece of white paper. You need um, a, a marker and you want to again make sure um, if you do bring a piece of paper and you are using markers, you want to make sure that um, maybe you have like an extra piece of scrap paper to put behind uh, the paper that you're using. That way, if you're using markers, it doesn't go on to the surface or like the table that you're working on. Um, and then you want to bring some coloring utensils. It could be crayons, it could be markers. I know some of you used colored pencils last time. That's fine. Just remember when you're using colored pencil, it kind of takes a while to color 
the parts in. So if it was bothering you or frustrating you last time because you couldn't color quick enough with a colored pencil, maybe you wanna try something different today. Um, and then on Friday, Friday is kind of exciting because on Friday we are gonna have a little parade at Ben Franklin and you can drive around Ben Franklin School. I know Mrs. Um, Hansen has sent out some information to parents about this too. Um, you can drive around the block around Ben Franklin School and there's going to be a bunch of teachers there waving to you and saying hello to you um, because we want to see you guys. We miss you so much. So I hope to see you Friday. I'll be there. Um, it's at four o'clock and I know teachers are going to be wearing masks over their uh, mouth and nose just to kind of stay safe. So don't be surprised if you see that. Um, and hopefully we'll see you then. Have a great day, guys.